What's up guys, it's LBT from Combat Culture and this is part two of our three port series with clinching. And with us today is Crew Rob. Cool, so last video we covered the basics of clinching. Now Crew Rob, uh, one of the components of clinching aside from knees is things like sweeps, trips, and dumps. What are the differences between the three? Because they're not the same, right? That's correct. The trip is how to properly position their feet so that they can actually initiate the, the person falling from either a clinch position or if they caught a leg, etc., etc. So once they learn how to position their, their feet appropriately, they'll get the tripping leg over where the base leg is, whichever leg that they're, they're targeting, and then they'll just basically push the person over. The sweep is, if you just picture where they were uh, learning how to position their feet for the trip, now instead of just pushing the person over that, that leg, that foot that's there, the tripping leg, is basically all they've got to do is just get this motion with the foot, and now they're getting the sweep going. The next, the next part is the dump. So now again, this, this again is, is uh, it's an interchangeable word. A lot of different schools, a lot of different people have different, different uh, uses for this or, or definitions. So the dump is basically the, the force or the, how forceful you push that person down to the ground. So it sounds like the conceptually the three are pretty much the same. It's just the intensity that's going to be different. This is correct. And and again, you you want to you want to do everything step by step as always. Now before we go into some basic uh, techniques, what are some things that's important to know? Um, what's really really important is when you're practicing these drills, it's not just about you performing the drill, but it's also about your partner on the receiving end that they understand and they learn how to fall properly. And this is the one thing that a lot of people, they, they don't go over um, enough. What that means is when you fall to the ground, the most important thing is do not spot or, or tripod with your arm. Now, the thing is that most of the time when you're falling backwards uh, from, from either a trip or, or a sweep, what happens is a lot of people, they'll end up, again, this is just self-preservation, that they'll put their arm behind them to help spot the landing even though you're not looking in that position. And this is when, it, when things can go really, really bad. So now what you have to do is you have to learn how to fall properly um, without putting your hands behind your back. Uh, there's a technique in jiu-jitsu, it's just called a, a break fall, learning how to break the fall. So it's not lying flat on your back, but it's more along the lines of cushioning the fall, meaning curve your spine, keep your arms tucked, keep your head tucked when this happens. Right, so um, these are just some of the things where you tuck your shoulder when you're, when you're rolling, when you get to the ground, you can end up uh, rolling over the shoulder so that, so that it, it, take, it displaces a lot of the, the impact energy when you fall. Yeah, so before you guys start drilling that, learn how to fall first. It's really, really important. Cool, let's jump into some techniques. Okay, so what Albie is going to do is he's going to uh, feed full tight clinch to Anna. Okay, now what she's going to do is from this position she wants to break his grip, right, or work on an escape. So there's a technique that I call, uh, I call a shoulder break. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna take the arm that she favors, okay, she's gonna try to collapse his arm into her chest, all right, so forcing him to, you know, to want to do um, the, the full, full uh, technique. So now she brings the arm around the back of his neck and then she, she uses his shoulder and pushes it forward and pulls, her, pulls uh, his head to the opposite direction. So now, Hopefully, what happens here is that he's able to, that she's able to break his grip. So at this point, she can actually pull herself away if she wanted to. All right. So that's the first technique as far as like learning how to escape from from basic clinch. All right. So now we're going to do this again because now what she's going to do is she's going to link a, a a trip. Okay. So now he gets full tight clinch. She's going to work on the shoulder break, so she breaks the grip. Okay, great. Now, what you don't see on this side is, so she's, she's controlling his arm on this side because she's going to use that leverage to push him over the, the tripping leg. But also, she wants to control this so she doesn't eat an elbow, right? So that, that's going to be really, really important, all right? So now, if we flip back around. Okay, so now from this position, She's going to, this is her tripping leg, and she's going to put that over uh, his, his, one, of, one, of his, one of his legs over here. Now before she does that, she wants to move the opposite leg in between his legs to get space, right? And then she brings the leg over to the side, all the way over, good. And now she, what she's going to do is just pull to her right. That's it, down to the ground. Ah, and if you notice, 
the way that Albi fell, also he fell and rolled over his shoulder, he kept his arms tucked, and this way it helps um, keep him safe, and, um, and he's able to do it again. So now, we'll work on another technique, which I call the diagonal. It's gonna be exactly the same uh, mechanics with the feet and then, and then the leverage over uh, Anna's right leg. The only thing is, is that now, when Albi feeds full tight clinch, he, he might realize that Anne is going to go for the shoulder break. So one of the defenses is to straighten his arms out so that she can't do this. So if he straightens both of his arms out, now there's space in between his, his, uh, his chest and her chest area. So now all she's got to do is she's got to push the arm through as a diagonal. Now she's going to put pressure up on his bicep and pull the arm closer. She's got, she's got his body in this position. So now left foot in between his legs, right foot all the way over, all the way. There we go and it just pushes right over. And then he's got the, the, the roll again. <laughs> uh, one of the things I didn't mention earlier is that it's really important to understand how to get these rolls uh, properly when you fall, when you fall properly, so that you're able to pop back up. And this is actually, it's a, it's a built-in conditioning uh, uh, training mechanism. So if you think about this, if the person is preparing for a uh, competition or their next fight, if they do get caught by a person that's a really good clincher or a really good person uh, uh, with good technique that understands how to sweep and dump, you'll know how to, how to if you keep practicing and practicing when you fall and then, and then fall, falling properly and coming back up, you're actually conditioning yourself to pop right back up. After, after a really good trip from the other guy or a really good uh, sweep and you fall properly, you don't get hurt and you pop back up, the, the number of times that you do this in training, you're going to do this in the, in the ring. That could actually be like a psych out mechanism against the other person because they get the really good sweep on, on you, and then all of a sudden you pop back up and they're like, whoa, isn't this guy hurt? And the optics are really good for the judges too. Oh yeah, absolutely, because it's like, yeah, even if it was a really good sweep or trip, you pop back up and as if nothing happened, yeah, in your head you're like, oh, that was a really good sweep, you caught me with that. But you pop back up and you're ready to go again. So how does that look? All right, looks good on you. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, hopefully, we gave you a couple of things you guys can work on. And before you guys do, just like Crew Rod said, please, please, please learn and practice how to fall properly. Very, very important, okay? But aside from that, I do want to thank Crew Rod for joining us today. And where can they find you? So, uh, uh, my school, Square Circle New York, is located right in Lower Manhattan in the Phi Day area. Uh, we're right off Fulton Street at Nassau. So, you can find us there or squarecircleNewYork.com. Very cool. And we'll be back with more videos. And until then, keep training, be safe, and stay healthy. Ready? Oh, come on. Ready? Ready? Yeah. See? Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should wear a finger, dude. Is that a tomorrow? You just kicked my leg. Oh, it's like vibrating. Okay. Okay.